Okay, it's ridiculous, I know, but I paid a whopping $712 for this unopened box of Garbage Pail Kids trading cards. Why did I do that? Because inside this box on the backs of the cards should be the long lost Garbage Pail Kids Series 16 flip book from the 1980s that never got made. The problem is that this box and every trading card inside it is a counterfeit. Back in the 1980s, when the original Garbage Pail Kids cards came out, Topps released 15 series of cards. As you might have seen in one of my previous videos, one of the coolest features of series 12, 13, 14, and 15 was that they all included a little flipbook animation on the backs of the cards. So if you collected all the right cards, you could put them in order, and then you'd have this little flipbook animation on the backs of your trading cards. Unfortunately, after series 15 came out in 1988, Garbage Pail Kids was canceled and series 15 was the end of Garbage Pail Kids at that point. So those four flipbooks were the only ones ever made available, or so I thought. It turns out that before it was canceled, the artwork for series 16 had already been made. All the cards had been designed and there would have been another flipbook on the backs of the series 16 cards if they had ever come out. So when I learned that the artwork had all been essentially finished, I wondered if maybe somehow it might be possible to see the original flipbook animation that had been created for series 16. So I started researching. I had seen rough, tiny, blurry images of some of the frames online. There were some black and white proof prints that someone had salvaged from a Topps dumpster back then. But was there a way to see the full flipbook? Did it exist in complete form somewhere? I had searched. I had emailed people who knew people. I talked to Topps themselves. I even tried contacting the original artist who actually drew the animations for the cards, but nothing led anywhere. Maybe I'm not the best researcher, but it was all dead ends. And that brings me to this. This box was my first attempt at finding the long lost flipbook. This is an unopened box of the all new series from 2003. Even though the original run of Garbage Pail Kids had been canceled in the late 80s, in 2003, Topps brought back Garbage Pail Kids as an all new series. And I had learned that this series reused some of that old card art from what would have been series 16. So I thought, if they use the old art from the fronts of these cards, then surely they use the original art for the backs of these cards. So I opened the entire box, all the packs of cards with its weird new variation of green gum, which was rock hard, by the way, because it's nearly 20 years old. Oh. Unfortunately, there was no flipbook animation on the backs of the cards. It was another dead end. The answer to my search came earlier this year when I got a mysterious email from someone named Raphael, who sent me a link to a bootleg box set of series 16. I was like, what? It turns out there was this guy known as the Bootleg King, and he had somehow pulled from various resources and gathered the artwork for the series 16 box and all the cards and the wrappers, and he had produced an extremely accurate bootleg box set of all the cards with the original front and back artwork, complete with a box and everything. If series 16 had not been canceled, this bootleg version is supposed to be what it would have looked like. I don't know exactly how he did it or where he pulled all the artwork from. Uh, I know that years ago, Topps had auctioned off some rare color proof sheets from series 16, and I'm guessing he may have pulled from those. This was obviously a passion project from a diehard GPK fan, and, and I'm glad he put the effort into it. Um, I heard that he unfortunately passed away last year, but I, I wish I could ask him some questions and that I could tell him thanks for the effort that he put into this. So only 200 of these boxes were made I was a little late in finding out about them, but luckily I managed to find one on an auction website and finally got one for myself for 712 bucks, which is a lot of money. But let's hope this box pays off and actually has the complete flipbook on the backs of the cards. This is number 73 of 200. One thing I want to point out that's funny and kind of amazing is that he changed the logo from tops to craps, which not only tells you that this is a counterfeit bootleg item and that it is not an official tops release, and that it's probably illegal if you want to get fussy about it. But it's amazing because the root of Garbage Pail Kids is all about parody and making fun. And just the fact that this bootleg set adds, you know, that additional flavor of parody, which, you know, it's just the true spirit of what Garbage Pail Kids is all about. So let's open this up and check out the cards to see if we finally, hopefully, have the complete last and long lost flipbook animation from series 16. Honestly, I'm a little nervous to open this up. I really hope that the complete flipbook is there. I'm assuming that there's no gum inside this box. Um, so that's kind of crazy opening this, knowing that there were not very many of these made. The box is really nice. It's got like a nice kind of satin matte printing. 
this this paper for the card wrappers is a little bit different, like different feeling than the, than the actual original. It's, it's really nice though. I do have to say, once in a while, Garbage Pail Kids for me goes too far and it's just like gross. I like cards that are funny and clever, but then there are ones like this. I just don't like this image. I just don't think it's funny. I'm positive there's no gum in here, but it does list the ingredients for the gum. This is an actual, you know, this is from the 15th series. It's kind of this uh, sort of waxy, waxy type of paper, kind of crinkly. This is definitely like much nicer. It's got this kind of satin paper. This of course is stuck down with uh, adhesive there. This is just folded up nicely with a piece of tape. But anyway, we didn't come here to look at all the packaging. We want to know what these cards look like and if there is in fact a flip book in here. Wow, this is crazy. These are actually really nice quality prints. You've got the, the peel here and it is actually, I don't know how well you can see that, but it is actually die cut and it does appear to be a sticker. Yeah, peels up. So these are actually sticker cards. Uh, it's hard to see, but there's a little subtle uh, line right there where, where these are actually die cut. So the, the quality on these is pretty crazy. The fact that these are bootleg cards, counterfeit cards, um, the quality is really good. And check that out. First frame, uh, this is number six. So we're off to a good start this time. Two of the flipbook frames so far, and three. If you look really close at these cards, like I can tell they were scanned from another printed card. Like you can see the, the artifacts from, from how it was printed the first time, and then, you know, those like kind of printing dots. It's pretty crazy to be unboxing these. These didn't exist for so long. So we've got two more cards. We've got number eight and number 18. This is a card, this is, I, I had seen the black and white version of this one. I just think it's such a cool card the way it's designed. You've got the Garbage Pail Kids logo up on top that's like tilted sideways. This, this is one that like as a kid, this would have been uh, one of my favorites. That's really cool. Do you think this guy looks like Donald Trump? Happy birthday. I would have liked this one quite a lot as a kid too, except for the fact that the face just doesn't look very on model. Kind of the same with this one. The head design just isn't really on model with how I think of Garbage Pail Kids. This one, the artwork for this one's pretty amazing too. This was a lot of effort to make this. Isn't that cool? I love that one. I love ones like this where it's like you take a an, an, an object or something and turn it into a like a kid when he's barfing up money. That's pretty cool. Here's number four, number 22, number 20, and 26. We've got number 10, number 30, 36, 36. Okay, so there's there's our first duplicate. I'm not gonna flip this until I have them all. Number 18, that's a duplicate. This card, this is amazing. Just that cleverness, I think is so funny. In the 80s, California raisins were like the thing. Everybody was obsessed and they, so many people wore California raisins t-shirts. So here you've got a human that looks gross like a shriveled up raisin with like a human thing on his shirt. I just think that's really funny. So 32, 34, and number two. You know what? I think this would be a lot more fun if my kids helped me open the rest of these. You guys want each, each open one pack? That yeah. one's, that one's really gross, but it's really cool. And that one's really cool. Wait, where's the bubble gum? There's, there's no gum in it. What? That one's pretty funny. Oh, oh, whoa. Gross. I think that looks like Donald Trump a little bit. This guy? Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> Just the maybe weird hair. a little. That one's really cool. Look at how realistic that looks. Dad, I got two duplicates. Yeah, it happens. I think this one's one of my favorites. Yeah, I love that one. Ooh, another puzzle. It's gonna be a puzzle of that thing. That's I terrifying. Do, I, I don't like that Here's image at all. One. You still gotta do it. Seriously, look at that, it's horrifying. So, so far we've got number two, four, six, eight, 10, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 40. Yeah, we have all even numbers. Why? 
I don't know, maybe we'll get down to the bottom of the pack and we're gonna start hitting all the odd numbers. Oh, that's where I'm usually. Those look like baby, baby um, demogorgons. Oh, gross. yeah. That's <laughs> so gross. That's mess. I think that was pretty funny though. Already got number six, puzzle. And we've got number 36. Ooh, we better have all of these. It's gonna be weird if we don't. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of an authentic, genuine, imitation replica reproduction of an officially unofficial bootlegged vintage ref retro forgery tribute fan set of Garbage Pail Kids Series 16 brought to you by the Outlaws at Craps Card Company. Enjoy. That's really cool. Why are we not getting any odd numbered flipbook cards? Maybe they're all at the bottom. Wait, have you seen this one yet, Dad? I'm gonna grab one all the way from down on the bottom. Puzzle, 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 puzzle. Too much. Okay, I bet that we're gonna start getting into the <laughs> the odd numbers now. Yep, look, 37. Nine. And number nine. You know what? I can totally tell the difference. Do you know how to tell the difference on the packages? These ones, the tape is going this way. These ones, the tape is this way. Look at, check this out. Every package where the tape is diagonal is even, and every one where they're that way is odd. Why? Why? I, that's just what I've noticed. Because every pack on top had sideways, or had diagonal tape. And now those ones have tape that's horizontal. And look, 35, 29, 5. Well, why that must have been because I think I think the guy who made this set, that's just why he that's how he was keeping track. Okay, these are the even cards, these are the odd card packs. Okay, so let's see if we can start filling in odd numbers. Okay. So Rowan, why don't you can you find another pack with horizontal tape? Okay. Ooh, I found number one. Ooh. What? Horizontal tape, and there's 16 and 26. It's horizontal tape? Yeah. What? Okay, maybe my theory's wrong. I wonder if what happened was he was yeah. having two people uh, help package the, the cards. Oh, maybe. And so each person did Seven. the tape differently. Very favorite is that realistic one. Yeah. Oh, Dad, we're almost out of the cards. I know. I'm bummed. I don't think we're gonna have a complete set. Uh oh. Oh, I'm really nervous that it's, we're not gonna. It's not gonna be complete. I might have to buy another box. Well, we have so many duplicates. Thirty-six. Mm. Still hope. 22, 20. Okay, there's still we've got three we've got three packs left. Let's figure out which numbers we're missing. And how many? We're missing number thirteen. Okay, one. We're missing, we're missing 19. twenty-three and twenty-four. We're, we're missing, missing only we're three. We're missing three cards. We're missing thirteen and twenty-three and twenty-four. Andy, don't jump out of that plane. Hey, future self. Sorry, I don't really have time to talk right now because I'm trying to get this video edited and everybody's watching and the video's not done yet and I'm not even finished editing. You know, it would be a lot easier if I had more screen space. I brought this second monitor, but I can't find anywhere to plug it in. Yeah, I don't see any outlets. Well, luckily I have just the thing you need, the Mobile Pixels Trio. Oh. It's a portable monitor that attaches to your laptop with one convenient cable. It's pretty rad. Wow, and it's powered by my laptop battery. Yeah, and now you can have a dual monitor set up literally anywhere. I'm done. You're welcome, former me, and you're welcome, viewers, and you can thank the Mobile Pixels Trio. My work here is done. Wait, you wouldn't happen to have a parachute. Ugh. Well, enjoy the rest of the video. It might be my last. Okay, so we're, we're, missing, missing, only we're three. missing three cards. We're missing 13. 23 and 24. Wait. Oh man, come on. <laughs> ah, 38. Oh. There's only two packs left. There's still hope. There better be one in this one. Oh, okay. 13. Yay! What? Yay! Oh my Wait. God. Fingers uh, crossed. Let's put that one where it goes. All right, I'm opening the last pack. <gasps> Are there gonna be any in here? 18. 18. Oh. oh. 
Twelve. No. no. Wait, wait, we only missed missing, one frame. We're no twenty. We're missing two. We're missing number twenty-three and twenty-four. Let's see what those ones are. Well, let's go through this checklist. So we went through the entire checklist one card at a time and we confirmed we have every single card listed on the checklist, but for some unknown reason, the artwork for those two flipbook frames is just not here. It's not part of this bootleg set, even though we literally have the full set of cards. But I'm glad to know we have the full complete set, even though we're missing the artwork for those two flipbook pages. And really, I guess I don't mind having some unanswered questions. Does the artwork for these two missing card backs exist? Is it out there somewhere? Who was the bootleg king? I don't know. But sometimes having a bit of mystery keeps life interesting. Maybe they never created those cards. Like maybe they were still in the trash. We checked twice. This is very confusing. We've, gone, we've gone through the checklist. We have every card on the checklist. Hold on, yes. is it 23B? The Garbage Pail Kids company just did that so people would keep buying more of the, their packs. Cause they were always missing one <laughs> too. Because they're always missing those two cards. Maybe what it was is it would have been like this card. Yes! Never... Yeah! That's it! Should we flip it? Yes. Yes. Okay. So that is what the flip book would have looked like if Series 16 had not been canceled in the 80s, and if this card had actually come out, that is what the flipbook would have looked like. Thanks to Mobile Pixels for sponsoring this video and sending me their trio. Thanks you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, now might be a good time. Turn on notifications. You know what else would really help right now is uh, if anyone has a trampoline, that would be great. I'll put my GPS coordinates in the description below. Just, you know, bring your trampoline, those coordinates. Thanks.